Meet one of Africa's most revolutionary leaders, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, the extraordinary leader of Burkina Faso and the world's youngest president right now. Traoré was born in Kera, in the commune of Bondokui, Burkina Faso, on March 14, 1988, and has devoted his life to serving his nation. This video will be an exploration of the journey of this courageous leader and his vision for Burkina Faso. It examines his past, challenges with the West, and his dreams for the future of the country, as he aims to leave a lasting impact in Burkina Faso and the continent at large. His modest upbringing gave him the opportunity to deeply understand the struggles that the people of Burkina Faso face. He was renowned for being quiet, but very talented at his high school in Bobo Diolasso, where he studied geology after completing his elementary schooling in Bondokui. While attending the prestigious University of Ouagadougou in 2006, Ibrahim Traoré became an active member of the Association of Muslim Students, ultimately graduating with honors. In 2009, he made the decision to join the Burkina Faso Army and underwent specialized anti-aircraft training in Morocco. Following his training, Captain Ibrahim Traoré was stationed in Kaya, a town in northern Burkina Faso, where he served as a valuable member of an infantry unit. Ibrahim Traoré gained recognition in 2018 as a courageous soldier in Minusma after rebel attacks in the Sahel region. Following this, he returned to Burkina Faso to assist in operations against the increasing insurgency of jihadists. Traoré actively participated in various counter-insurgency actions in the country's northern region, including the Otapuanu Offensive in 2019. In 2020, he was promoted to the rank of captain. In January 2022, Traoré played a role in the coup that ousted President Paul Henri Sandaogo de Miba. Consequently, on October 6, he was appointed interim president and given the responsibilities of head of state and supreme commander of the armed forces. Many supporters of the January coup were disappointed with Demiba's failure to tackle the Islamist insurgency in the country. Traoré later revealed that he and other officers had tried to persuade Demiba to prioritize addressing the insurgency, but ultimately, he was overthrown due to his diverging ambitions. Captain Ibrahim Traoré places a high value on security and is committed to combating insecurity and terrorism in certain districts of Burkina Faso. He advocates for a comprehensive security strategy that includes strengthening intelligence capabilities and promoting regional cooperation. Now that you have gotten a brief history of the visionary leader, Let's explore his aspirations and ambitions for Burkina Faso and Africa as a whole. Captain Ibrahim Traoré has ambitious dreams for Burkina Faso. He envisions a united, prosperous and stable nation where every individual has the opportunity to fulfill their full potential. Here are some key elements of his vision for the country. By promoting transparency and good governance, Captain Traoré firmly believes that accountability transparency and effective governance are the cornerstones of a just and prosperous society. To this end, he has dedicated his life to promoting these values and working tirelessly to ensure that they are upheld in every sphere of public life. One of his primary goal is to ensure that civil society plays an active role in decision-making processes. He understands that a healthy democracy requires the participation of all citizens, not just those in positions of power. As such, he has worked to create spaces where ordinary people can voice their opinions and contribute to the development of policies and initiatives that affect their lives. By prioritizing healthcare and education, Captain Ibrahim Traoré is a firm believer that healthcare and education are two of the most essential pillars in the development of any society. He understands that a healthy and educated population is a prerequisite for progress and prosperity. As such, he is doing everything in his power to advocating for and promoting accessible and high-quality healthcare services and education systems. By driving economic development through investments in infrastructure, industry, agriculture and education.
One of Captain Traoré's main objectives is to accelerate Burkina Faso's economic growth. He aims to improve living standards, reduce poverty, and create job opportunities by investing in infrastructure, industry, agriculture, and education. Captain Ibrahim Traoré is also a strong advocate for national unity in Burkina Faso. He believes that fostering communication, tolerance, and respect among the country's various ethnic groups, religious communities, and regions is crucial. With his unwavering dedication and bold vision, he embodies the hope for a brighter future for Burkina Faso. His goal is to lead the nation towards prosperity, safety, and cohesion. Inspired by Thomas Sankara's vision, Ibrahim Traoré is committed to creating a better future for Burkina Faso. Following Sankara's footsteps in sustainable development, Ibrahim Traoré plans to promote renewable energy, invest in eco-friendly initiatives, and encourage responsible agricultural practices. Just like Sankara's efforts to combat desertification, Ibrahim Traoré is determined to make a positive impact. In the fight against terrorism in the Sahel, Captain Ibrahim Traoré plays a pivotal role also. He is one of the key figures leading the military's tough stance against extremists. His determination to restore peace and security in the nation drives him to rally his fellow soldiers on the front lines. As the country grapples with its complex situation, it is crucial to carefully consider decisions regarding assistance to the military. This ensures that any unforeseen consequences are avoided and the nation's interests and citizens' welfare are safeguarded. To this end, Captain Traoré has been fostering stronger ties with Russia to secure military aid. Amidst the challenging and perilous circumstances, Captain Traoré's leadership shines as a beacon of hope for a brighter future for the people of Burkina Faso and Africa as a whole. Despite being primarily rural, Burkina Faso has witnessed an increase in urbanization. People fleeing the insurgency have sought refuge in urban areas, particularly in the capital city of Ouagadougou, in search of improved living conditions and economic opportunities. With an estimated population of 23 million as of 2023, Burkina Faso ranks among the most populous countries in West Africa. Captain Traoré has made significant efforts in developing the semi-arid region at the edge of the Sahel. This area is characterized by its transition from the Sahara Desert in the north to the more fertile regions in the south. Despite facing numerous coup attempts, Captain Traoré has managed to maintain his government. Some believe that the West, particularly France, is behind these attempts. What are your thoughts on Captain Traoré's accomplishments thus far? Do you think the West will be successful in toppling him? Share your opinions in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more informative content. These other videos on your screen will equally be of great interest to you. Check them out and see on the other side.